I realized something that I could double or triple the amount of a certain pie crust by doing one simple thing with a common ingredient that I probably know that you have in your home already. And I'll be back in a minute. What am I talking about? Back in a minute. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, this is Jan. I love helping people keep more of their own hard-earned money. Welcome to the Save Money and More with Jan channel. So nice to see you today. Hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. And if you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been here a while, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, everybody, for being here. While you're at it, have a moment to click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the like button. That's so important. What am I talking about? Get right to the point. The holidays are coming up. You know, some of my favorite holidays are coming up, spring holidays and stuff like that. I always seem to crave, don't ask me why, I have no reason to understand why, I like to have a nice no-bake chocolate cream pie. Hello. But I used to get the pre-made crust. I mean, first I started off doing it from scratch, which is easy because it's a graham cracker crust, but we'll talk about more about that in a second. And years ago, to me, the pre-made graham cracker crusts were, were pretty good. And then something happened over time. They just didn't taste the same way to me. They tasted too firm for me. And I'm like a texture person. The flavor was okay, maybe a little, little too sweet, whatever. But you know what? We all probably have one. I know I have one in my pantry. I should have brought the box up. Box of graham crackers itself. Now... From my recollection, if there's either three or four of those packets, you know, those packets with the divided wax paper, even if it's three, you're guaranteed, I would say three to four, if you're conservative about it, three to four crumbled crust that you make on your own, just basically crush the uh, graham crackers, you know, roll it out with a rolling pin, crush it or just crush them yourself. They put it in a bowl, add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon. If you buy cinnamon graham crackers, you don't even have to add the cinnamon because the cinnamon's already in it. You don't even really have to add the sugar if you don't want to keep it a lower, lower sugar. Melted butter or margarine, form it together in your pie plate. Um, what I do sometimes if I'm running low on that even, I just do the bottom, okay? Then I buy instant pudding, which I like to keep. It's a good thing to keep instant chocolate pudding, vanilla pudding, sugar-free pudding, if you want, uh, in your pantry, because there's always an easy dessert, okay? Always. You get a call at the last minute for last minute company, you know, they're coming within an hour. You could put together, in a, a matter of a few minutes, you could put together one of those chocolate cream pies or vanilla pudding pies or whatever. It's just a wonderful thing to do. And a little trick my mom taught me is that when you make make the uh, pudding mix for the pie, use a little less milk. If the recipe calls for a cup and a half of milk, use, let's say, half, like one cup instead of a cup and a half, and that gives it a thicker pie consistency. And she's right, it works. And what I like to do after put on top, you know, you could have that, um, uh, that type of uh, non-dairy cream that people keep in the freezer. You could put that on top if you like. Or what I like to do for the holiday, especially, I'm just going to give you a very less, you know, definitely guilt free for those watching carbs, for example, you can make the same pie. Okay. You can still enjoy it. I use actually real whipping cream. Okay. I don't add a thing to it. I enjoy the natural taste. Now, some people say, ooh, 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 but I, some people have to have a little sweetener in it and that's okay. You can use your artificial sweetener or just less of it with real sugar, maybe one or two um, powdered sugar in there, cap full of vanilla, and you're done. Or you could just uh, take your favorite spray on cream per piece if you want to do it that way as well. So let's say a person's watching their carbs. They could take make a less, make a less of the crust or get a sugar-free cookie replacement, sugar-free cookie, and just go along with making your crust that way, sugar-free instant pudding, and the very low-carb, real, you know, natural cream that you whip up at home. Put it in your refrigerator, chill out. 
Yum, yum, yum. Now, one of those boxes of the graham crackers, like I said, is such a savings. Because if you get the store brand one, which is very little difference in flavor, in my opinion, very little difference, slight difference in texture from the national brand one that sometimes can really be expensive. So check your prices. If you get those on sale, great. If not, get the store brand version. Makes no difference. You get such a value from a box of graham crackers. This sounds really weird. Example, let's say a person paid $1.99 to $2.59 for the store brand version of the graham crackers. You could easily get three to four pie crust out of it because the crust themselves doesn't have to be too thick. What I like to do, I reserve some of the mixture of the uh, broken up you know, crumbs of the graham cracker and I garnish it on the top of the pudding. And on top of the cream, sort of like a little garnish, they sprinkle those little crumbs on top. It looks prettier. And you could get chocolate flavored crackers too, just for the record, in case you want something you know, a little differently than that. Okay, great. So you get a lot of value out of a box of graham crackers store bought. You could have them with milk. So people, some kids even like to dunk a graham cracker in some milk after school, just like the 1950s, right? <laughs> But it's delicious. Some things just never grow old. So you could have the cracker itself. Or some people eat it for breakfast or a fast midday snack or after school uh, after school snack. All right. So graham crackers are really something to be had and put in your pantry. Let's talk about some other uh, budget stretches at the grocery store. Definitely carrots. Definitely root vegetables, potatoes, celery, onions. If you could get, if you enjoy it, those four things, especially if you enjoy it, those four things and get one protein that you love. If you could get a uh, ground beef on sale or ground turkey on sale or some other form of a protein that you work with, those are the things for the remainder of the week you could do so much with. The carrot soup, the glazed carrots, stuffed celery, or take the carrots, the celery, the onions, and put it together with some chicken bouillon and some noodles. You don't even need actually chicken. If you happen to have a can of chicken, you could throw it in there. Stuff from your pantry or a handful of rice if you don't like pasta noodles. This is so inexpensive. I just mentioned literally a week's worth of meals just on some simple ingredients. There is really, there is really uh, no excuse other than like when people say, I don't have the time. If you have a slow cooker, you have the time. I'll not tell you why, because it's just a question of putting things together. Okay. It's really a question of assembling things together, put it in there a couple of hours and you still go on with your life and you just created the time and save so much more expense. These days, who couldn't use a break in saving on some grocery expenses. Am I right or am I right? So get excited, make yourself a pie, uh, purchase the sugar-free puddings and the, and the regular pudding. So you have choices depending on the company that you get. Cause you might have a couple of guests that can't have sugar, but why deprive them of a treat? You know, you, you could give them the option of that. I think it's a nice gesture. Anyway, have yourself an amazing, fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. But you know, I have a tendency to not ask you to do the following. Every time you click like, share, and subscribe, you're improving the channel's possibility of other people seeing it. And we can help other people too. But I really urge that all of us start doing a little bit more often what this lady does.
amazing, fantastic remainder of your weekend and a bright and beautiful upcoming week. Take good care now. Bye-bye.